Hey guys, the Shakers here. It's Valentine's Day and we're <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Good. Tell you like that. Hey viewers, your Shakers here and welcome to day 10 of Japan. It is Valentine's Day, so I'm dressed up. I'm dressed to the tens. So is Brian, looking good and fresh right there. Not really. <laughs> and we're gonna aim for pancakes this morning because I really want to try fluffy pancakes. And if that doesn't work out, I don't know, we'll figure something out. And we really want to do tempura tonight because tempura here can get really fancy and really good. And we had it three years ago and it was amazing. Let's do this. We are at Kichi Joji and it's adorable here. And in under one minute into this video, we found the pancake place. After delicious pancakes that I will be thinking about until the day I die, we got tacos. Just kidding, I just like that sign. No, we explored the little neighborhood of Kichi Joji. It's this adorable little pocket of Tokyo that I will definitely come back to. Not just for the pancakes because we were actually able to get in and I feel like it'd be too busy anywhere else, but also for the cute clothing shops and this particular tea shop where you can watch hojicha or roasted tea being made. I love hojicha. We bought some. We weren't going to, but I was ogling the store for so long that the store runner brewed us up some tea without telling us. Luckily, Brian noticed before I walked off. The tea was delicious, so we bought what he brewed us and some hojicha. We have since drank them and are due for another refill soon. Like a prescription. That doesn't look safe. Anyway, we didn't just shop for tea, of course. We popped into the little clothing shops, visited the local grocery store to stare at some expensive melons, then took the train to our next destination. Can you guess where we're going? Back here again. <laughs> That's right, if you've guessed it correctly. We are back, and this time we aren't here like one hour before closing, so we can actually do some exploring. Which emoji are you today? Yeah, that one. And with that in mind, we browsed the area and found the Takashi Murakami shop. <laughs> These items are so cute and colorful and soft, I would have loved to buy at least one small thing. Too bad the smallest thing would have been about 1,000 American dollars. Well, if you're like me, and you don't have a thousand dollars to throw away at one item, thankfully there's lots more affordable stores here at Nakano Broadway. <laughs> I don't have to bend down. This is just my height. Oh, and you can find places to compare height too. There's a bunch of reasons why Brian and I love it here and keep coming back. It's not as busy and bustling as Akihabara, and they offer a lot of older, more classic content. Like old game cartridges and old manga. Or manga, as some of you call it. After staying in the area for hours, maybe days, we had some McDonald's and trained to our next stop. They have Valentine gotchas for Valentine's Day. We rested and freshened up at the hotel before heading out for our hot Valentine date. We're at Roppongi Hills. That. So Roppongi is supposed to be romantic. You We're over here. here. What's that? We should run. But before we could get away, we found her. She was tall, lanky, and not exactly my definition of romantic. In other words, you, Rupongi, what the f Her name is Maman, and she was made to reflect feelings of nurture and protection. The artist made it as an ode to their mother who was a weaver. How sweet. 
Enough about the giant mother spider, it was time to actually see something romantic, and that was at the top of this tower. We are up on the Roppongi Tower. There's Tokyo Tower right there. It's not as tall as the Tokyo Sky Tree, but the view at night is something else. It's ironic how the city looks like stars twinkling on the ground, but you sacrifice seeing real stars in the sky as a result. Sure is pretty though. It's such a different world seeing the city at night compared to the daytime. It looks more magical, I think. Well, there's the city. <laughs> Is that Car Captors? Is that Car Captors Sakura? Is she right there on top of the tower? Oh my god. Around this time, I thought it'd be a great idea to give Brian his Valentine presents. But first, we had to find a good spot. Where does this go? We found an area that wasn't as crowded, but that wasn't the only reason I was excited. <gasps> they have tables here. I also meant to say chairs. Tables and chairs. My feet were already hurting and I just wanted to sit and enjoy the view. And give Brian the presents I bought him. We were able to sit, but Brian didn't want to receive my presence yet because it wasn't the right atmosphere. It was so particular and strange, but I kind of agreed. It was still very crowded and not exactly quiet. Maybe I'll wait until we get back to the hotel. There were things to see besides the city view. Like this bizarre clunky ferris wheel thing. Would you ride in that? It gives me a slight feeling of unease, so yeah, I'd ride it. It lights up and moves in increments as well. That looks like a fun time, if you want to feel terror, or motion sickness. After that, we took the elevator down angrily because we were mad that there was no option to parachute down yet and that really sucks, and explored the rest of the building. That meant going up and down the escalator. I felt such adrenaline from that ferris wheel, I just wanted to experience a rush. We're going back up. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. After that exhilarating ride, we went to explore the rest of the neighborhood. This is Roppongi. Roppongi wasn't like the other districts we had visited. It was a bit more spacious and had hills like our city back home. It also had some fancy looking restaurants that we might be eating at. In fact, this wasn't just a stroll to explore. We were on our way to a tempura place. It might not seem romantic in Vancouver, but in Japan, it's a different story. This is where we'll be eating tonight, hopefully, at the Let Us In, and it's so cute! We didn't make a reservation, so luck was on our side that night. This is handmade. So cute. You could order your food in sets and add extra to it if you wanted. Our set came with beer and homemade ice cream. You know that I have a place is run by grandpa's that it's gonna be good. The food was amazing. I will be thinking about it until the day I die. Taking selfies with the place didn't really work out, so here it is by itself instead. It's called Tempura Mikaku and you can find it in Roppongi. Now it was time to go back to the hotel and give Brian presents. Or so I thought. Brian had other plans for us, which was strange. I thought Tempura would be the last stop today, but he didn't want the night to end just yet for some reason. We are at Tokyo Station now, and this is what it looks like when it's not that busy. I was gonna say this looked like Hogwarts or something along those lines, but I'm still wondering why Brian brought us here. So Brian took me to the Tokyo station, it's beautiful at night, because he has a present for me. I have no idea what he got me. This is Valentine's Day in Japan, that means I'm supposed to give him something, not the other way around. He can do that next month. But we'll have to see what he got me. 
I was surprised, but maybe I shouldn't have been because traditionally the girls get chocolates and flowers from Valentine's Day, right? But I don't remember him buying anything that looked like a present. I wondered what he got me and why did it feel like he was going to be special? And I found out because it was. He proposed to me. He's had it for months. <laughs> months? Yeah. Yeah, okay, for months. On the camera. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> That's where Brian proposed to me, right there. Right there. We talked about what just happened, how he did it without me suspecting anything. It's not that hard. I'm not exactly observant. And then took more tourist photos. But this time, as a couple about to be betrothed, eventually I had to stop crying because it was finally time to train back to home base. Little do these people know, I just got engaged. And finally, I was able to give Brian his presents. Chocolates! I got him one really cool one and one traditional one. How do you know it's traditional? Because it's Japanese. <laughs> Ooh, they look so good. I got you green tea. Thank you, baby. Those You're look really welcome, good. You're welcome, right? They're just really good. I tried them. Ooh. You see one piece missing. <laughs> yeah. I tried a sample before I bought them. That's how I know. And now, for a little reenactment. We're gonna enact how Brian proposed to me. Here's the next bag. No, sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss, but would you uh, like to marry me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Put it on like that. Yeah, be careful. Like that. Thank you. Now give me a hand. Shake. All One, right. two, three, four, five. <laughs> Alright, now we have this form here. We have the initial right here. And sign beside it. Initial. Initial. Sign. Alright, good. Flip it over. Uh, initial. It's all a contract here, isn't it? Initial. I, don't need, I haven't even read any of this. Sign. Should we read this together? Sign. Alright. And then date. Stamp. Alright, we're and engaged. The contract has been. Deal dealt with. And that's how we propose, children. I got engaged, <laughs> Look at it! I'm not focusing. Hey guys, I just thought I'd finish the vlog right now since it's uh, 11 something and we're not going to be doing anything for us today. Why are you always in the bathroom when I do this? <laughs> Babe! <laughs> my god! What? He's playing with a bidet. It's in my eye. Okay, good. Today was amazing. Today was probably my most favorite Valentine's Day ever. I don't know, last year was pretty good. <laughs> last year we were just boyfriend and girlfriend. So here's how it went. There's always this feeling that, is he gonna propose right now? Like there's, that, there's always moments of that happening throughout like, I don't know, the past few months. But I'm always like, well, I always think he's not gonna propose and he never does. So what would make this any different? So I always just went like, ah, he's probably not gonna do it. But he was so obvious now that I think about it. So <laughs> so he was like, we have to go to Tokyo Station because Roppongi didn't work out. Roppongi was too busy. It wasn't romantic enough. Yeah, and there were so many tourists. <laughs> but it was fun. I, it was fun for me. I had a good time. Me too. Yeah, and then... The bum's clean. His, yay! And then he was like, let's go to Tokyo Station after. And I'm like, okay, sure. He really wants to see Tokyo Station tonight. It's like 10 p.m. Sure, why not? I had to pee, but sure. So we got to Tokyo Station and it's beautiful and amazing. And he's like, well, we have to go to the furthest part of Tokyo Station. And I was like, okay. Well, it's the walkway to Imperial Palace. Yeah, that beautiful walkway you guys saw. We get to this secluded area of the walkway and it's like nice and sparse and only a few people around. And he keeps waiting until people pass by completely even though there's always gonna be somebody somewhere passing by completely. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. But I gave my present first because it is tradition in Japan on Valentine's Day for the ladies to give the man chocolate and then on March 14th, the man gives the girl chocolate. So Valentine's Day is white day I believe here in Japan. So I want it to be Japanese. Okay bye! He closed the door finally. He didn't have the door closed the whole time. So we go to the secluded part and I gave him the chocolates. He's really happy. He's really excited about them. And then I'm like okay it's your turn. Oh and they were the chocolates he wanted. They were space chocolates and an extra chocolate because I wanted to surprise him with chocolates but I spoiled that for myself so I decided to get him two kinds of chocolates so that he was surprised by something like at least at least by something. 
anime is very distracting. So I got him space chocolates because he was eyeing them like crazy when we passed by this chocolate, um, chocolate fair. And then I found some traditional mashed ones because I figured well, we're in Japan, he probably wants some traditional, something traditional, something Japanese. So I gave him some matcha ones and they were delicious. I sampled them, they're amazing. Part of the reason I got them for him was so I could have some too. So yeah. So then, oh, it's a cat anime. I've always wanted to see it. It's about this guy and he's a cat in his life and they do stuff and it's cute. And then he goes, okay, now's the time. Turn around and don't look. And I was like, He's probably not gonna propose. So I just like roll my eyes and I turn around. He's going through his bag and stuff and he's like, don't turn, don't look. And then eventually he goes, okay, turn around. And I turn around and he's on his knee. He's on one knee with a freaking box out. And I was like, and like again, before that moment, I was like, if I turn around and he's on his knees, I'm gonna lose it. And he was on his knees, on, on one knee, not both knees, cause it's not how you do it. On one knee, he said, will you marry me? And he looks so cute and I'm gonna cry again. Ah! I don't ever really fantasize about these things, especially since like, I didn't know how Brian was gonna do it because he doesn't like public settings. He doesn't, he wouldn't do it in front of like a crowd, even though I probably would like that <laughs> because I like attention. I like being applauded. I don't know. This is why I went to comedy for a hot minute, just for that slice of attention. But yeah, I didn't know how he was gonna do it. So that really surprised me. I didn't expect it at all. I suspected it. But again, I mostly thought he probably wasn't going to do it. So when he did it, I just like, I lost it. And my first reaction was like, no way. But I didn't shake my head or say no or anything. I just started crying and then I fell and I dropped the chocolates. Like, like kind of like fainted, like, oh my God. But I like, didn't faint. I just like, my knees got weak and I fell to the ground. <laughs> and I was like, no way. And I started crying. And then eventually he uh, was like, okay, like get up now. People are going to think that I'm hurting you. <laughs> So I got up, gave him a kiss, said yes, and like made him put the ring on me. It was amazing, it's a beautiful ring, and like I love it, and this is the best Valentine's ever. And I don't know what else to say, because like, it's amazing. And I'm still in shock, it feels surreal. And what even seeing him on his knee with the ring out, I didn't think it was real, you know? It was just so shocking and, ah, ah, man, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed that and leave me a nice comment if you'd like, if that is your style and hit that notification bell because I don't upload that regularly and that way you'll know when I upload a video. All right, on that note, keep up the good work. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, you probably won't see this on Valentine's Day, but if you do, happy Valentine's Day or happy Singles Day, whatever works for you. But wait, there's more. She said video call now, so I did. <laughs> what? Hello? Hello. How are you? Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Where's Jason? Hello. How's it going? This is Mike. Hi. Hi. Hello friend, long time no see. Oh I got you guys, it's poke, it's like cookies, it's food. I got them this. It's pooty nips, Deadpool style. Oh, there you go. Jason upstairs. Go get him. I have to tell you something. What are you what are you Can you please go get Jason? Oh, thank you. I'll give you a neglected child. Look at it. Happy belated. Oh, it's like you're in the scene. It's like you're right in the wow, scene. It's like real. It's like real. It's like real life. This is for your future baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen, I got you this Totoro towel. That's <laughs> oh my god! What the hell is Open this? yours. Which one do you want? I don't know. They're all like multicolored. All. Oh, I got one. Oh no. Damien. Damien Wayne. Damien Wayne. Sweet. Oh, there's more. Harley Quinn as oh, well. Cute. Looks like she's. I know she's supposed to be sitting, but that looks like she's. 
Well, all of you. Jason? Jason, wait. Jason, wait. No. Hello. I want to talk to all of you. Go downstairs with dad. Go downstairs uh. with dad. <laughs> Go. <laughs> it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh my god. What did you get? I love rocks. Nice. Yeah. No. <laughs> the unboxing. <laughs> it's the gel. You have to be a little closer. You have to, yeah, right there. So cute. Uh... <laughs> I actually have one more thing for you. What? She has two. Because I, I saw she likes Kingdom Hearts, so I have to get her Kingdom Hearts. Give me another one. <laughs> so uh, I can hear you anywhere you go. <laughs> So I got you that. It is a uh, Yes. And uh, I got you this Kuroko Basque blind box. You can open it right now. My number one weakness is terrible. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, Do you remember him? A friend of Hagam. Wait. So Evan and I have Japan. Good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There's one more thing. It keeps coming. So there's actually one more thing. Oh. It's so dramatic. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so dramatic, Chash. <laughs> there is one more thing to do. We have an announcement to make. Your present! <laughs> oh my god. Are you ready? You're pregnant. No. <laughs> Why did you really go there? You're pregnant. That is everybody's first guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where's Gus there? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Put a ring on that. Yeah. He liked it, so we put a ring on it. <laughs> let me see that. Let me see that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh Where? my gosh. In the park? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's just like, oh no. She was like, she was like wanting to go to lunch to Rob, and Rob was just like, right back, what are you engaged? What, you engaged? Yeah. I like your page, and she didn't say no. And I was just like, in my mind, I'm like working on my chair, I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> she went on this room. <laughs> I knew it. Maybe they think you're slick. Congratulations. But you're not slick. I have you figured out. <laughs> as soon as I saw the picture of you guys at YBR, I'm just like, oh yeah. This <laughs> is about to follow us. <laughs> He's got this in the bag. I knew it. In Japan, you give the guy chocolate. Thank you. 
<laughs> wow, they probably didn't focus on any of that. Yeah. Yay! Of course. Y'all been dating for a while. This is one of those, you know, trips. Right. So like, it's on Valentine's it's Day. It's on Valentine's too. Day. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't crafty, Johnson. You ain't crafty, Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I got you figured out. I probably gave you the idea to like to ask me. Oh yeah, when I thought of it, I was like, yeah, exactly. What would Rob do? Exactly. I just knew. I just knew. I'm a fiance now. Yeah. He's not my boyfriend anymore. <laughs> <laughs>